day two of virtual VBS with Michael and Lauren. Yesterday we talked about Matthew, the tax collector, and how Jesus chose Matthew to follow him. Today's story is about Paul's redemption. Did you know, <clears throat> did you know that no matter what you like or dislike, Jesus loves you? He loves us even, he loves us if we are good at something or if we are really bad at it. He loves us even though we sin. There's a story in the Bible about a man who called himself the chief of sinners. And guess what? Jesus loved him too and used him to tell many people about his love. Paul's redemption. Paul had been chosen by God to tell the good news about Jesus to the Gentiles, uh, people who were not Jews. Paul traveled thousands of miles telling people about Jesus and starting churches. This made some people so angry that they had him arrested. However, instead of being angry, Paul knew he could use his arrest to talk to many very important government officials. While Paul was in prison, King Agrippa came to visit Festus, the local governor. Festus told the king about Paul, and the king asked to see Paul and listen to his story. Paul began by reminding everyone that he had grown up in Jerusalem and strictly followed the laws and the rules of the Pharisees. He spoke out, of, out against Jesus. He placed many people who were followers of Jesus in jail, and he even supported the ruler's decisions to put Jesus' Jesus's followers to death. Then Paul told about the day he had been traveling to Damascus to arrest believers in Jesus. King Agrippa, Paul said, I was walking along the road about midday when I saw a light brighter than the sun. I fell to the ground, and so did all the people traveling with me. I heard, a, I heard a voice speak to me. The voice said, Why are you persecuting me? Paul explained that he was confused because he did not see anyone, so he asked who was speaking. The voice replied, I am Jesus, the one you are persecuting. Jesus told Paul that he had been chosen to go and tell the Gentiles how they could have faith in Jesus and receive forgiveness of sins. Paul explained to King Agrippa, that he had obeyed the voice and told people everywhere that Jesus, the Messiah, suffered and died and rose again. Paul explained how God had helped him. Paul told the king that everything he said was true. Are you trying to convince me to become a Christian too? King Agrippa asked. Paul replied, I truly wish that not only you, but that everyone who listens to me would believe in Jesus. Acts chapter 26, verse 1 through 29. Jesus can use each of us just like he used Paul to speak to King Agrippa and to hundreds of others about Jesus. Remember, Jesus loves us regardless of our sin. Um, Romans 8, Romans 5, 8 says, But God proves his own love for us in that while we were sinners, Christ died for us. I am so thankful that Jesus loves me regardless of my sin. No matter what you wrote or drew, whoop, yep, might have to cut that part. No matter what you write. Yeah, or true, because I, I forgot to. I can cut that yeah. part. Okay. And. Okay. Now I just. I, sh I should have just said the Romans thing. And then. Um, 